I know why you have this scene. I'll explain it to you later. What? This part right here. I know why we all have it. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Tell us. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so when you're uh, when you're being created in your mama's belly, your face is brought together by different sections. So there's a section here, section here, and then a section here. So when these two fuse, that's why this happens. That's why cleft palate happens too when they don't fuse together properly. Oh, oh. and it's like a vitamin deficiency or something, right? When that it happens. is a vitamin deficiency. So Wait, what are you talking about happened? Oh, this part. Why we so have this little like ridge. dip here? Because mm -hmm. it meets in the middle. Yeah, that's when it meets. Goes yeah. Zzz. Interesting. Oh, wow. wow. Well, this story here is about Catholicism and the Ooh, fact that the fact that a 15-year-old Italian boy oh, might no. Oh no, be the pope. Be possessed. Um, the patron saint of the internet. What? What does that mean? Yeah, what okay, does that mean? So it was, okay. He blesses the internet? No. Like the pope of the internet? No. Well, this is the same thing she's just He's a saint. He is so his name. The Duke of Pornhub? No. Oh. That's tight. So this kid, <laughs> his name was Carlo Acutis, who died of leukemia in 2006. Oh, oh he died. So yeah. you have to die to be a saint. There's steps to this. Okay. So he was be beatified, be beatified. Are you trying to plan how you're gonna be a saint? <laughs> <laughs> so when I die, they'll be like, that dude was a saint. Mm -hmm. You know, you know how they talk about you and, and, and how they used to be. Yeah, but yeah. this one's like legit, like, you know, with the okay, Catholic well, I Church. I need to learn. So, beatification signifies that a person has entered heaven and can guide those who pray to them. Mm. That's what beatification means. Hook me up. And so, uh, he has now been beatified because <laughs> Pope Francis said that Carlo, he had performed a miracle by curing a seven-year-old Brazilian boy of pancreatic illness because he had came in contact with one of his shirts and he had prayed to Carlo. And so that's like the first miracle that has been like confirmed and, and documented by the Catholic Church. And so you need two miracles in order to become a saint. So he's on his way to becoming a saint. And Wait, so... so this kid that had leukemia, wait, this pancreatic kid, cancer. Pancreatic cancer. Yeah. He prayed to this um, other kid that died. Yeah, and he also, I, I believe, like he touched his shirt. Yeah, he came in contact with one of his shirts. So, but a saint helps you guide, get, get guided through heaven. So saints end up like blessing those who pray to them. Oh. And so because Carlo has been a, a kid that had. Like, you know, had a lot of people pray to him. There's been other people that have claimed that they have their infertility cured because they had prayed to Carlo. And mm. the reason why he's such a big deal is because when he was alive, ever since he was a little kid, um, he was really into, like he was a normal kid. He was into video games and like the internet and all that stuff. He actually created a website where it was documenting miracles throughout time. Mm. So the Catholic Church, was saying that you know he is like he he used the internet for good like for pers like for preserving or, yeah preserving he wasn't creating porn unlike all the other teenagers and stuff exactly I want to see his website I wonder if it looks like old school MySpace. Angel Fire. Yeah, Ooh, Angel imagine. Fire. Angel, Angel Fire. Angel Fire, yeah. Actually, and you come in, it's like a lot of crosses that are spinning. That's <laughs> what it looks like. So it's, this is his website. Miracles oh, that's List. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, and so like it, it just. Damn, I wish it was old school, man. It shows like miracles by country. And so he, he created this website for that purpose of like documenting all the miracles. What do they say? I can't see my eyes blurry. Oh, it's just, it's different cities and then the dates. And then, well, first of all, it's the countries and then cities and then dates. And then once you click on one, it'll like, it's very well documented, like what the miracle was and how it was confirmed and why it's, mm, why a it's, 14 to 12. Yeah. Can I see one of the miracles? If there's two miracles, then you can be confirmed a saint? Yeah, like. Or you're it, eligible to become a saint. No, you. Uh, that's when the Pope will give you sainthood. But what, what about, makes something a miracle or not? Yeah, and what, what about St. Bernard? <laughs> 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 what miracles did the Well, they, they used to um, Beethoven. Have, they had kegs. This one was sitting on that jug. They had kegs <laughs> of water. They had kegs of water and they- um, And that was a miracle. And they would give it to, or alcohol or something. And what about St. Bernard? <laughs> I'm a proud wife. <laughs> 
proud wife. No. <laughs> this one couldn't proud, even. Proud mother of his offspring. couldn't even get through the fucking joke, dude. <laughs> I, I'm a proud mother of his offspring. Yep. To be, called, to be declared a saint is called uh, canonized. Canonized. You gotta fucking beautify, then canonites. Yeah, mm -hmm. canonized. So, um, but yeah, so they're saying that he would be the youngest person to be. Oh, God. Uh, well, he is the youngest person to be. Beatified in the modern era. Beatified. Beatified. Beat. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry. Beatified. Uh? Yeah. Beatified the piece. So this is like <laughs> this is really interesting because he's just like an average he's an kid. An average kid, or like of oh. the modern day. You know, With the hell of hell of smog in the back. Goes alive. I feel like he would have a Nickelodeon show like the modern day saint. Yeah. He like is cool. Yo, look at that. Picture. He has a backpack. He's got great hair. Damn, that hair thick as fuck. Bro. Wait, is that the same picture? Go back. It's not no. the same picture. They picture. just, well, what's that on his shoulder? Backpack. 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 He likes it. Oh, so go go to the next picture. They kept the backpack on him. That's where he keeps all his miracles. Aww. Wait, so so in terms of like Catholicism, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so saints, they're like the, the gateway to getting you into heaven then, per se. Well, they're the ones that guide you through through struggles. Mm -hmm. so like Saint Nicholas. So they could like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's different saints for different. <laughs> Different things in your life that are going wrong or yeah, for the help with. In the Catholic Church, like each thing, like if, you're, if, you, want, if you want to buy a home, or if you want to bless your car, or if you like lose your dog, or you lose something, or a family member oh sick. Sorry, this is so stupid, dude. I know. We we see it. This was a Saint Bernard. This was a Saint Nicholas dog. What's yours? I don't What's your idiotic input. Into I don't. This? They topped it. I have nothing. Dude. Saint Louis or something. I don't know. No, that's not funny. You have fun too. Oh, I'm having a lot of fun. I just don't get it. Yeah. No, it's just so stupid. That's why it's so funny. You guys are such comedians that it goes it goes over our heads. Yeah, you know. It's not even that. It's, it's like, so funny. Like, it's a comic joke, and this joke is like right here, dude. It's so low. It's such a bad joke. That's why it's so dumb. It's such a bad joke. <laughs> These guys were waiting to tell this joke, and that's why it's so dumb. I get it. But he's crying. I know, he's just <laughs> it's I saw stupid ass Santa Claus fucking guiding everybody to heaven. <laughs> he can't even talk. Uh. <laughs> What's on your mind, Nikki? <laughs> well, like, St. Nicholas did perform miracles. Yeah, that's like, why. <laughs> and then St. Bernard's do rescue people in the snow, so I was, this makes sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah. True. Do you believe in miracles, Tiff? Do I believe in miracles? Miracles. What constitutes a miracle? The statistic of it not likely to happen and then it happens? Yeah, like, 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 call me a saint, I made this bitch come seven times tonight. Ooh, I pray to that saint. <laughs> I thought a miracle was like, man, we thought this motherfucker was dead. That sounds like a miracle. And then they're like, this now it's just on the other house. This is the definition of a miracle. A miracle is an event not explicable by nature or scientific laws. Such an event may be attributed to a supernatural being, magic, a miracle worker, a saint, a religious leader. Yeah, there's some, if somebody survived cancer, then I wouldn't call that a miracle. I would call that good luck. Luck? What about the science? The probability was against you. Oh. Well, if they can't explain it scientifically, then like you were supposed to die, then that means that the scientists were stupid as fuck. Mm. But I would say a miracle is if Jesus came down from the clouds right now and he's like, what's up, dude? <gasps> it's a miracle, Jesus is here right now. Yeah. You know, my brother, uh, when he was born, I think that he was, they had complications with his birth originally, yeah. but he came out okay and then my dad prayed to God saying that if you let my first son live, that I'll dedicate my life to you. <gasps> and then he became a pastor. Wow. I you, but I would laugh because I bet you that fool was like, fuck! <laughs> and then he had to just do it because he's a man of his fucking word. Yeah. But he That's went through, why he became a pastor? So he went through seminary school the whole time while he was running our business. So he, that, Why did he bargain so high? He could have been I like, don't know. God, you let my first son live and I would donate my first paycheck to you. That's it. That's all you had to do. You know, but he went he fucking high. In. 
Damn. Yeah, my dad's a man of his word. He became a minister and everything. He got his master's in divinity while while he had a can't bargain to. I want master's in divinity. Yeah, that's that sounds like Harry Potter wizarding school. <laughs> Yo, my dad was a fucking Jehovah Witness's worst nightmare because they would always come to our door. Uh, They're like, "Have you heard of the Lord's words?" or something like that. He goes, "Yes, I like, funny you ask." And then my dad's like, "Cool, would you like to come in? I'm a pastor." And then trap. They would be there for like hours, and you could tell they want to leave. But I was like, "No, let's continue." Your my dad mom. took off all the door handles and handles shit from the inside. <laughs> no, let's go. He just takes the door and he goes, boom, breaks it. And he's like, you're in here for now. So he would sit there and talk and to them about- And those people never once again ever evangelize. <laughs> well, they got fucked because my dad has literally read so many fucking books about Christian theology. Yeah. If you go into our house, there's four shelves stacked. Every fucking book my dad has read over like 10 wow. times. Wow. Like he was that into it. So wow. you bring these people who are very lackadaisical in their faith and they come in, you see a man who's about that shit. It. It's like, good <laughs> luck, bro. And I would tell these people to just leave. I'm just like, no, we're good, just leave. And they're like, we would like to speak to your father. Uh, like, all right, your go. funeral, dude. Uh, and then my mom would start cooking food because they know that they're going to be there for a very long time. Oh, lucky. Yeah. Your mom's like, got his back. Too? Yep, and they're right. just like, okay, I'm going to be here for six hours. Yep. I go there for free dinner. My dad's like, I got time today. I got time. <laughs> Is all it takes. Just talk about Jesus and you could get free dinners from your mom. They just keep coming over. Hey, would you like to talk? Sure, yeah. come on in. They're like, yo, that lady's cooking's good. Uh, we might have to convert, but who cares? 